Hello, welcome back. This is video three of this little series. And what we're going to do in this video, we're going to be testing remote connectivity between our management PC or our laptop in this case to the default gateway. And we're also going to add that default gateway on our switch. Okay. So without further ado, let's get started. So we can just go down the line here. We're going to test remote connectivity so we can connect to our desktop. Okay. Our command prompt, we can do an IP config to make sure we're still having that same IP. And we can type telnet. Whoops, sorry. Telnet 192.168.199.2. Okay. Now this is prompting us for the password. This is the password that we set up previously, which is Cisco. Okay. So now we can type in enable to get into enable mode and it's Cisco. And now we can do all the fun um, commands like we're normally, like we can normally do. Okay. So now we can do, for an example, we're going to do trunks now. So let's do show interface trunk. And we should have none because we have no connectivity between the two switches. Okay, perfect. So let's X out all this. So next thing, we're going to add the default gateway on the switch. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, same concept. Cisco, Cisco, config T. Okay, IP default gateway. And then if you press the question mark, it's going to ask you for the gateway that you want to utilize. So we're going to be using 192.168.199.1. Okay. Just, just to have it. Okay. So we can end that. We can WR the, uh, save the config. Now we can do show running config. Now all the way at the bottom, we should see a default gateway. And here we have it. Okay. Perfect. So that's set up. The remote connectivity is tested. Now let's go ahead and set up some trunks. So let's go get a crossover cable. Okay. And we're going to put it into gigabit one and gigabit one over here. And these are going to be the uplinks to the in to the switches. Okay. So in office one, we have Ryan and little B and office two, we have John and Brian. So Right now, if we're on Brian's, because you know all of these are in its associated VLAN. Let's go ahead and get back in here. Okay, show VLAN brief. Okay, so we can see these two, which is John and Brian. They're associated with hockey and bowling. Okay, so, but right now. If we try to go from his machine, uh, let's go here, open up the command prompt. You can do an IP config. And now if we try to ping 192.168.2.100, it's not going to be able to ping. It shouldn't because it doesn't know how to get over to that side of the network. Okay. And it's going to fail. Okay. So now what we're going to do is associate the VLAN. We're going to do like pretty much a before and after. This is before, right? So now let's go ahead, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's go ahead and go on switch one and go ahead and set up the trunks. Okay. So let's open this bad boy up and then we're going to do configure terminal and interface, interface gig zero slash one, because that is the uplink between the two switches. Okay. So if we do a question mark here, we can see all the options that we have. Okay. So we're going to do switch port mode trunk. Okay. So now we have the trunk and then we're going to do switch port trunk allowed VLAN. And I have my VLANs over here, so I don't have to go back and forth. So it's going to be one, 10, 20, and 199 for management. Okay, perfect. So if we end here, show interface trunk. Now we see now we have a configuration on our trunks. Perfect. So these are the VLANs that are allowed across the trunk on 
on uh, port gigabit 01 and the mode is on. So let's go to switch 2. Since we did not cr since we did not configure it over there, this might be auto, but let's go check, okay? It's still thinking, it's still doing probably its uh, magic behind the scenes. So let's do show interface trunk. And now it is auto, okay? Now you can see everything is here, but what we want to do is we want to configure this interface to be a statically assigned trunk, right? We want to statically assign that. We don't want it auto. We want it just on, okay? So let's go ahead and config T interface gigabit. Sorry for that. Gigabit zero slash one. Perfect. And now we can do switch mode trunk and then switch port trunk VLAN allow, uh, allowed VLAN 1 10 20 199 perfect now if we do show interface trunk now we should see it's on the encapsulation is 802.1q that's the tagging and now we can see everything that's associated with this trunk. Okay, so now we can put this to the test. Okay, let's see if the spanning tree is is um, is all good. Uh, one ninety nine, probably one. Okay, so it is forwarded. Okay, perfect. All right, so let's just, we can just also just to show spanning tree, we can see it as well. So the root port is, is forwarding. Okay, cool. So now it's green. All right, so now if we take Brian's PC and we try to communicate between switch two and switch one, and we try to ping, for example, little b because they're both in VLAN 20, now hopefully we should have a successful ping. Okay, so now remember the other one failed. Let's try it again. And now it's responding because it's carrying that traffic between the trunk. Okay, so let's go ahead and try. Uh, who's that? John. Well, let's see if John can ping Ryan. Let's see. 192.168.1.100. And now that can ping because it's carrying over. Okay, so we can do just really quick to test the theory. We can go from Ryan's PC and try to ping John. Okay, 192.168.1.101, and we see it's communicating. Perfect. This concludes the video. This is pretty much VLANs in a nutshell, how you can configure them, how you can get them set up, how you can get a little network from a management VLAN. You can see your native VLAN is nat native VLAN 1. We created VLAN 10 and VLAN 20, and hopefully this is helpful for you. And I really thank you guys for checking out these videos. It means so much to me. And more to come. I'm going to do some routing stuff. EIGRP, OSPF, maybe a little bit of RIP version 2. Just different kind of concepts to understand different routing protocols as well. So please stay tuned. Thank you for viewing. And please subscribe, like, share with your family. And hit that bell. Smash it so you can get alerts for updated videos. I really thank you for viewing. And have a wonderful day again. Take care.